Hi there, YouTube people. My name's Ron, and uh, I'm an artist. I'm also a professional screen printer. As you can see behind me, I have a whole bunch of screens up in my shop. But I'm, I'm also uh, an artist, and I like to do artwork on the side. I like to paint with oils and acrylics and um, other mediums. Um, anyway, um, for artists that have a short budget, uh, I wanted to share a little project that I just got done doing. I like to work with wood too. And um, I had some scrap wood lying around and I needed an easel that was just something small um, that can fit on a, a kitchen table or uh, just anywhere I can, I can take it with me. And uh, I didn't want anything heavy or bulky or, or something huge. Uh, so I took some scrap wood that I had lying around and uh, I created my own little easel and uh, it's it's right here behind me as you can see um, you can see just the top of it there I'm gonna try and uh, bring it down so you can see the base of it as you can see it's not very finished um, I still have some modifications to do to it so um, I will kind of give you uh, an overview of what I had done okay so right off the bat um, Basically what I did was I just took some miscellaneous uh, one by twos that were lying around and I and I formed this square and just screwed it together in the corners. Okay, that was the first thing I had done and I knew that I wanted to use this long length of, uh, I'm going to say this is a one by three or one by four. Um, that's, that's basically what the center is and... Um, I had that length, I didn't even cut it, I just happened to have it lying around. And then I had a bunch of short lengths like this um, lying around. And uh, that's what I used basically, I just kind of grabbed those lengths and matched them up to make sure I had the right uh, lengths that some weren't longer than the others. And uh, I basically just fastened them together. And then um, I fastened them to this center piece. And once I did that, um, I, I fastened the, the, the base where the painting will sit on um, to, to the, to the um, square frame that I had made. And I'm going to try and flip this down so you can see it. And uh, so I just screwed in a couple of screws here. And then, of course, I put some screws here to fasten this frame on here and here as well. So this frame is attached to this piece here and down here. And uh, so once I got that together, I, I, um, um, I put this on and then I had this long length that I need to cut. I need to cut it down to about here. So I still need to work on this. And um, so I'm gonna trim it down on both sides because it doesn't really need to be that long. But for now, um, I just wanted to see how this was gonna work. Um, now, um, the hard part was figuring out, okay, well, how is this piece up here going to be able to adjust for different size paintings? Well, I, I put a, a fly nut bolt on it, as you can see here. And I basically just took my drill and I just drilled multiple holes, one after the other, going all the way down. And as I did that with my drill, I basically just kind of wiggled my drill in between and broke those holes up and made a slot. So now this thing can slide up and down and I can put up to a, right now I can put up to about an 18 inch and I can drill some more. As you can see, I have more room to go to make my uh, slot higher. So I could actually do a 20 inch comfortably with this. And then um, for smaller paintings, I just flip this around and I can put some very small four inch paintings on here and still clamp them in. Uh, the hardest part was coming up with um, a stand for it <laughs> in which I had did not want to go out and buy any hardware at the uh, hardware store. So I went ahead and um, uh, came up with this idea of just using a couple of blocks and drilling um, a hole big enough for a bolt to slide through. So I have this bolt with a wing nut on this end that slided through 
perfectly. And I had all this hardware just lying around from different various projects. And uh, so anyway, this is the, the hinge that I came up with for the stand. And the stand, of course, is just another scrap piece of one by two. And then I happen to have a short piece of a one by four lying around. And I used that one as the kicker stand. And then, uh, of course, I didn't want it to just fly and open up all the way. So we used a, a hinge chain uh, to just keep it from opening anymore. And so we just kind of, I had a small little chain in my, uh, in my shop here and uh, went ahead and just hinged that together with a couple of screws. So basically, um, for no money at all, really, for me, but possibly for someone that's um, going to try to take on this little project and do it themselves. Um, of course, I did no measuring whatsoever. These are basically uh, about one foot by one foot little pieces making the frame here. And then, of course, the overall center piece is about, I'm going to say it's about two and a half feet there. And then the, the base on it could be as long as you want. I, I think I'm going to go out about maybe 10 inches on each side and uh, trim those off. And then the little back stand on there, of course, is about another one foot piece. And those little blocks there, I think I those must have been left over from... Um, some some frames that I've used in the past um, that are two by two, and so you can go to the hardware store and pick up two by twos and one by twos, and for just a couple of dollars a piece, and just one piece would probably give you enough on an eight foot length to do all this, and um, so for probably uh, no more than maybe ten to fifteen dollars in materials here, um, you could create your own easel and have fun painting like I do. And of course, I've already started to use it. As you can see um, in the intro there, I already had a, a painting that I was doing. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll show it to you in just a moment. This was what I had started and uh, we're gonna continue painting it and we'll show it in, a, in an upcoming feature. Okay, thank you for now for watching and uh, please subscribe.